Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to install Pal World inside of a container running in Unraid. So to start this off, of course, we're going to go ahead and connect to our Unraid server. And then from here, we're going to want to click on the apps tab. If you don't have the apps tab, it's because you don't have the community apps plugin installed or enabled. So be sure to Google search that if you need to get that done. Next up, we're going to type in Pal World to search for the container that we want. And there should only be one option from itch777. He makes some of the best game servers. So that's who we're going to download from. And then just a couple things to note here is if you plan on using the default settings, which you totally shouldn't do, just try to remember the default server name, the default password and the Archon password. I'm pretty sure this is Archon password anyway, but we're going to change all this stuff. So it may not be worth knowing right now. Scrolling down, the first thing I always like to do is change it off of bridge mode since we'll be doing port forwarding. And I'm going to give my server a custom IP address of 192.168.69. This is a unique IP address. It must be unique and no other system on your uh, network should have this IP address. Uh, I know what IP address to assign it because there's a subnet here that says 192.168.0.0, meaning that I can install I'm sorry, I can set any IP address that I want as long as it's between 1 and 256. So 69 is the one I chose. Now, if your network says something different like 172.16.1.0 slash 24, you can pretty much do the same thing I just did. But instead of 192.168.0.1, you can just do 192 or 172.16.1.69. So whatever works, just make sure that the IP address is unique and in the same subnet as what is shown here. All right, moving on, we're pretty much not going to touch anything else. We're going to leave everything else the same. Uh, one thing I want to note here, if you wanted to set up or install the a beta version of a server for whatever reason, you can do that with this variable here. There's instructions that tells you that you can install the static or beta version and you know what to expect. That's not something we're gonna cover in this video, so we're just gonna skip it. Now, what's really cool about this, if you change this to true update public IP, it will automatically find your public or WAN IP address, which is awesome. So you don't have to Google search, what is my IP to figure this out. The server will do it for you, which is awesome. Now you could enable backups if you want to, and the storage location for those backups is gonna be inside of Pal World Backups. That's not something I'm gonna do. This is totally optional to you. And you know, there's other options about the number of backups to keep that you can adjust if you want here. And also the interval in minutes. So in 120 minutes, this will back up um, your server. So just keep that in mind if that's something you're interested in doing. Moving on, the only thing we ever care about here is the this port. This is the game port, the one that you will need to port forward. And this is 8211. You can change this if you want, but I'm gonna leave this as a default port. So now we can hit apply and our container is going to download. This is going to take a little bit of time, nothing too long, and we'll hit done now that it's completed. All right, we can close this. We can go to Docker and we can see that the container is already running and it should also be downloading the game. So this might take a while depending on your internet speed and how fast your server is, I guess. Uh, this could take more than five minutes. So I'm just gonna let this sit and I will get back to you when it is completed. Okay, I know the server is now ready to go and it's done downloading and, and everything's working because of these three lines right here, prepare server, server ready, and start server. And since that's there, we can go ahead and close out of this window and we can stop our container uh, because we're gonna need to edit that um, INI file and that can be found inside of app data. So we're gonna go take app data pal world to be explicit, but we're gonna go take a look at that. Before we edit our INI file, I did wanna mention that if you're on Windows, you should definitely be using Notepad++ to edit text files because it makes it extremely easy to edit text files. And it just makes, I don't know, it just makes it easy. So definitely download this free tool uh, because we are about to use it. Now for everyone else on Linux or Mac OS, you'll have to use Vim or Nano. I'm really sorry about that. So let's, Bring up our Windows Explorer here. We're going to click on App Data, go into Pal World, and then we're going to go into Pal. We'll click on Saved, Config, Linux Server, and we're going to scroll down and look for Pal World Settings.ini. Right clicking, hitting Edit on that. This brings up Notepad++, which is awesome. And WordWrap is enabled 
And so basically if I disable word wrap, this may make it easier for some people to more easily identify what they're looking to edit, like the spawn rate or whatever it may be. But this is the file that controls your server and you can edit the number of players, the max number of players allowed on your server, the max number of players allowed in a, in a co-op. And then also the important things like the server name. So in this case, I'm gonna change the server name to uh, not your buddy, I'm sorry, not your pal buddy. And for this description, I'm just gonna change this to hosted by SPX Labs. Sorry for the line or the word wrapping here. I can't really help that. We're gonna change the Archon password to 1234. So admin docker 1234. And we're actually gonna remove the password to our server. So that way anybody can join. They won't need the password. If you don't want anyone to join, you know, you can put a password in here and well, there you go. Then that problem solved. All right. So next up that we, if you wanted to enable Archon, this is where you would do it. So simply change false to true. And now Archon is enabled. And I think that's all the settings that we need to make for this video. And we can go ahead and click on save. We can close this because we are done with it. Before we move on from here, I did want to make you aware if you planned on modding your game, if you go back to app data, pal world, pal, you'll see content in here. You'll double click that and there's packs. All those packs, you can download and drop them in here, all the mods, and you will do the same on your game. So that way, if you did want to play with mods, this is where they would live. And I'm not really sure exactly how this works. That's not something this video is going to cover, but I did want to let you know where you could install mods if you wanted to mod your own server. Let's close this because we're done with it. And before we try to connect our server, we do need to open some ports on our router. Now, I've already opened the ports on my router and every computer is going to be, or every router is going to be different. So I can't show you how to do that um, on, on your router or all routers specifically. But these are the ports that I'm choosing to open for my system. So 8211, that's a UDP port. So we do need to open this. And then we also, or well, maybe not we, but I also decided to open ports 27015 and 27016, TCP and UDP, because I really wasn't sure. Now, this one you may not need to actually port forward. Um, I think just 8211 will work, but I did it just in case. And this is of course for the Steam version. And supposedly if there are other, there are other ports you may need to enable if you're playing on PC. I don't know why this port would be different than the 8211 port, but just keep that in mind. There are other ports out there that may need to be enabled uh, for the Xbox One, Xbox Series S, but at least for me on my PC, uh, PC to PC that is these are the this 8211 is really the only port I needed to port forward and um, the 27015 but I want to let you guys know about that so let's go ahead and start up our server and then we can run over to our gaming PC and test out to see if we can join the server let's join our server by going to join multiplayer game then clicking on the community servers button in the search field I'm going to type in buddy to filter for my server After scrolling down and finding it, we can join it and see that it's hosted by SPX Labs. From here, we can join, create our character, and start playing. And just like that, we have set up our own server. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.